Okay, in this video, I'd like to walk you through how we create a history and heritage blog post, or at least the approach that I take. Uh, typically, in the weeks that uh, Mr. Zaffini wants to post a history and heritage uh, blog post, he will email you a file. And you'll notice uh, with the email, there is an attached PDF. Um, this is the format that he likes to send. Um, getting this into a blog can be a bit of a challenge, but let me show you the, the method I worked out. First thing we need to do is save the PDF that he sent. So we'll just do a save as and throw it onto the desktop. And once you save it onto the desktop, um, I'm going to go to a program that uh, actually will convert uh, PDF to JPEG. If you go to PDF to JPEG, jpg.net, this uh, cool little utility online will very quickly allow you to make these conversions. So you just go to uh, go to here, you pull up the actual history and heritage um, PDF, and then you click this button here, convert JPEG to or PDF to JPEG. That quick, it will come up and allow you to do a download. Of the uh, of the file. So again, I will just go to the desktop with that file. Um, I had previously done this, so it's giving me the option to uh, to replace it, which I'm doing. So I click save, and uh, if we go to our desktop now, we will see that uh, these files. There is the original PDF, and these two are the JPEG file or the video. Uh, or the, the graphic file that we'll need to update the uh, the blog. So at this point, uh, we're going to go to the blog itself. It's veritasacademy.org slash WordPress. This actually takes us to the, uh, the blog itself. Again, veritasacademy.org slash WordPress. And I'm going to come down here to login under Meta. And we're going to log in as Charles. Now this is important to log in as C. Zaffini and with the password so it'll show that this uh, posting was by him. So we'll go over to uh, why don't we add new post and this is the editing screen now to add a new post. So uh, first thing I typically do I will open and just uh, copy the uh, the header just to make sure I don't make an error here on the JPEG or on the actually the PDF file. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that heading, and that way it matches all of the previous ones. And now we get to uh, to actually enter the information. I usually start from the bottom and work my way up, and that typically um, keeps from preventing any issues. So the first thing I want to add at the bottom is the printable link. So I'll click on the little uh, the little add media icon there to the side, and I'm going to go ahead and upload that JPEG, or not the JPEG, the PDF. By putting the PDF in here as a clickable link, uh, by clicking Upload, what that allows us to do is folks to read it either online or to click and print a copy. So I'm going to change the title here. Let's just change it to Click Here for Printable Copy. And then I'm going to scroll down here and just insert that into the post. So now we have a link there. Now I'm going to go up and click this button, this Upload Insert, Add an Image. And remember how we created those image files? Well, let's go out here and snag them. There is page two. Remember, we're working from the bottom up. So I'm going to upload that. And then we'll go ahead and insert that image into the post now. We'll just take the default 640 by 828 and insert into post. And now page two, you'll see page two is in there, and then the clickable link at the bottom. Now I'm going to come up and click at the top again. Remember, I, I did a couple enters before I did anything before. So we'll go back to the top, and this time I'm going to go find page one. We're going to upload it just like we did the other one, and then insert it into the post. And again, we're going to insert it directly above the other. So this should show up here. There is page one. And as we scroll down, it'll roll into page two. And then at the bottom, click here for a printable copy. So everything is there. Uh, the reason we import the images rather than try to cut and paste out of the PDF is that the formatting gets all hosed up when you do a cut and paste. Um, 
but blogs are really designed to be typed into directly. Um, so the best way around it is to actually go and insert images the way we've done. So all we have to do now is click Publish. One other thing to check for, which I may have forgotten. Oh, I did. This thing had defaulted to the category of classical Christian education. We want to turn that off and make sure this goes in as a category for history and heritage. So any type of edits that we did, all we have to do is uh, change that and click Update. And now the blog post has been updated. And if you want to verify it, you can click up here on the Veritas Academy blog link. And as we look, there is the February 4th. History and Heritage blog post with the printable copy at the bottom. Um, some families have registered uh, to get updates uh, via this link right here, subscribing to the blog post. So the people that did that about 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, that will actually show up. And that's really all there is to it.